Alright folks, welcome to another totally far out episode of Fort Solace. It's been quite the ride with more twists and turns than a roller coaster. We have had mystery, conspiracy and a dash of good old fashioned paranoia. Last time, Jack had an encounter with a fully unhinged Dr. Wyatt. And it didn't go well, leaving Jessica to unravel the mess. Can she save the day and find out what happened to Jack? Or will she end up in the same suit? Meanwhile, Dr. White, well, he's having a bit of a meltdown. And we are not sure if it's the isolation or something sinister, like Compound 26. Is there more to this Martian puzzle than meets the eye? Well, get ready to dive into the next chapter of our cosmic journey. Whoa, okay, hang on a second. Take a peek up top. Is that Dr. White lurking? Talk about a spooky sight, hinting at something ominous is on the horizon. Oh boy. Alright, if you've just joined us in this journey, here's what you need to know. We received a mysterious alert from Fort Solace. And from the time we arrived, we knew something had gone wrong. Terribly wrong. No climbing for me then. We were in search of crew members, but the only thing we found were the lifeless bodies. The plot seems to be steering towards a case of cabin fever and Dr. Wyatt seems to be at the heart of it. We've already lost a few crew members and some are still missing. And now poor Jack seems to be tangled in White's delusions. Oh, how am I supposed to get in? Ah, he left his tools in the LTV. Is it compound 26 which is meddling with crew's heads? Is isolation taking its toll? Or could there be something far more nefarious lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce when we least expect it? You know what's fantastic about this game is its open-ended narrative. It hands you enough to grasp the situation, but leaves ample of room for interpretation. If like me, you relish theorizing and diving deep into stories, this game is a must have. Why does he even have this in here? Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I guess I am. Oh boy, come on Jess, is this time for casual banter and humor? I mean, your colleague is likely in serious trouble and you're on a mission to save or discover what happened to him. You know, perhaps focus on the seriousness of the situation? I mean, the writing in this game sometimes feels so disconnected with the situation we are find ourselves in. Oh boy. I'm sure it's fine to cut this door. Only one way to find out, really. Yeah, it means we can take our time, we can be casual about things. What's worse means Jack could be bleeding out or perhaps grasping for last few breaths. Oh boy, means this writing sometimes is so off base that it puts you off, <laughs> right? Heck no, uh oh, this oh God, is so not sorry. good. Hell, yeah, things will change now. There's no more banter coming up. <laughs> I, I, I saw you out in, in the storm. Are, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good, good, because there is some really weird shit going on here, right? Yeah. Oh boy, you can sense the tension in the air. I'm oh, sorry, who are you? Jessica Appleton, and you? I'm Nick. I run the drills around here. I did. Oh boy, we know it. that's you know. not Nick. <laughs> um, but does Jess know it? Wait a second. She should, right? I mean, Jack did speak Where about discovering team? Nick's um, body, right? They're off-site. We can't drill in these stars. 
Who are you here with? No one. I'm responding to an alarm. <gasps> oh, pray. Yeah, the alarm. Oh, I have a feeling we need to get out of the situation. Things will turn bad for Jess. Ah. Oh crap, no, oh my god, my reflexes have gone to sleep again. Look at her go! <laughs> Come on! Oh, we still managed to get away from him. I mean, those quick action sequences. And I feel like fancy decoration in the game. No consequences, no real nail biting tension, okay. right? You, 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 you need to calm down, just breathe, and and you open the door and, and I'll, I'll take you to go see your friend, okay? All right, but you gotta calm down. That's not happening, my friend. You, you gotta open Just the door. might throw in some poorly timed okay. grips, but she's no slouch. She's got a good door. grip on what's unfolding in this place. Open the door. Open the, Open the fucking door! Oh boy, he's definitely lost his marbles. I'm sorry, I got mad. Sometimes I just... Oh. doing Jessica I mean look at this I mean this is puzzle isn't it in some sequence the writing nails the tension the immersion so flawlessly that it's perfect but then it's like a complete disconnect in others you almost find yourself questioning who came up with this shit I mean you know the humor may work at times but it's just completely out of place in crucial moments Okay, apparently Jess has some new emails. Obviously, she'll have some emails of her own, like uh, about impending promotion and transfer. She had good scores, and now she's been promoted to be the lead engineer at a new lunar Baltic station. But she's reluctant to take the transfer location. Okay, I wonder why, and if Jack has something to do with it. There are a few everyday emails, I mean, interpersonal emails, job, professional emails. We're talking about vending machines, we're talking about some job they're working on, HTVs. Okay, okay. Right, some more emails. I also feel she might have bought the entire email list from Jack. I, I don't know, I mean, was it transferring data? Why would she have Jack's emails or emails Jack discovered during his exploration? Yeah, I know how to record logs. Yeah, please, grab me one. Jack out. Feels great to be included. Feels like what I'm doing here is more than just keeping the drill spinning. This planet, this base, How's evolution? That matters. Wow. I sound just like her. Okay, so it's clear Jess is fully aware of the situation. All the data discovered by Jack has been transferred to Jess. And I don't think so Dr. Wyatt can trick Jess into anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think so Jess needs to be more aware of things now. And Cut down on the snarky statements. Uh, let's explore further. He was in the maintenance unit. That I know. 
I need to check it. It's very fascinating to see Jessica and Jack's relationship. I mean, they definitely share a bond, but to me, it didn't exactly come off as a romantic connection. Their dynamic felt more like two colleagues in a high intense job. You know, a high stress job. A classic buddy cops from the cubicle world. Uh, in mass. <laughs> What's fascinating is Jessica's commitment and concern for Jack. Diving headfirst into a dangerous situation where things are far from what they seem. You know, would you risk it all for a work buddy? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? You know, the norm is to leap into danger for a loved one. You know, family, your partner, parents, sibling, maybe your children, yeah? But for a work colleague, or a very close friend. What really distinguish close friend from a work colleague? Yeah, it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Especially in the context of today's interconnected world. Well, I guess it depends on who we consider most important, don't we? Why would he come after everyone? Come on, Appleton. Stay on mission. And Dr. White seems to be at the heart of things. I mean, he is the key to the mystery. And what's with his behavior? It's so unhinged and so unclear. And you don't know whether he's the big bad or misunderstood. Yeah, his behavior, could it be because of his human vulnerabilities, isolation, and he's been away from his family? Or could he be onto something with Compound 26? Could compound 26 be having an it was effect? I mean, those sickness, well, that could be just planetary radiation. Who knows? Means he could be losing it. There seems to be more to compound 26 than meets the eye, hinting at a deeper conspiracy. You know what? What if compound 26 in itself is some form of life? Whoa, oh, the possibilities. <laughs> It's endless, right? The theories you can dive into in this game, and that's why I love this game. It's so open-ended and, you know, gives you room to interpret it, what you see, right? But whatever it is, something seems off. I mean, there is something definitely more to the story than just a deranged doctor. I mean, I'm still holding hope for an existence of martial life. I mean, I'm waiting for those claw marks mystery to decode itself. Man, this place is spooky as hell. I'm already on the edge with what has transpired with Dr. Wyatt and now... Yeah, the location, the atmosphere, it's building up, it's definitely building up. atmosphere in the game is no less than you what you will find in a top-notch horror game. I mean, they are literally toying with your senses and emotions. You know, there's just a human out here who is acting all deranged, but you almost feel like something else is lurking in the shadows. So this is where we last saw Jack. I don't think it's smart returning to the scene of the crime. 
Oh boy, let's hope we don't run into Dr. Wyatt. Where is he? Helen tried to silence me. And people need to know. Know what? That this is bigger than just us. But don't worry, I'm looking into Helen's work right now. What was she doing? Come to the greenhouse. I'll show you. Jack must be there. Boy, ah, uh, bigger than us all. What the hell is he talking about? And Greenhouse, wow, he might get some answers about the magic dirt that is compound 26. I wonder if this is something to do with corporate greed and conspiracy, you know, rushing to release compound 26 without thorough research. It's an echo of past tales, reminds me of all the vaccine wars and conspiracies attached to it. Okay, it seems like we are back at it, attempting to lift the lockdown. Unfortunately, there's still no clear indication if Jack has survived. Recording this after a long day. I've just been out to look at more weather damage to the arrays. We are cycling out a season towards the storms, and uh, tensions are high here. Days are getting harder. The site is on course, and we continue to work towards a better tomorrow. As you've just have seen these videos and emails, because Jack has been transmitting all the data he had collected in his round of exploration. I really hope you printed that and not him. You know, we have been focusing a lot on Dr. Wyatt, but let's not overlook other missing crew members like Adam and Asim. They could hold the answers or perhaps somehow be responsible. Or they could be yet another casualty waiting to be discovered. I mean, we should widen our suspect pool until we are sure, right? Alright, in search of the greenhouse. How do I find access to it? Always follow the light source. Perhaps there is where we find answers. Okay, let's keep in mind that help won't be arriving until much later, possibly after the storm passes or by morning. Jessica, you're on your own for now. So survival through the night is the key. Uh, but the big question, where to next?
You know, I really don't want to venture far away from one of these entrances because you can easily get lost in this dark hellhole. Oh boy, there's so much to see, so much to explore. The temptation to venture far from the site is so strong. Hey, hey, wait, hang on, hang on. Is that a communication dish? Could that possibly help in lifting the lockdown? Okay, let's explore that place. <sighs> How am I supposed to move that? In this storm? There must be something here to help. You know, the game tends to be very generous when it comes to pointing you towards the next clue. Although a bit more challenge would add a bit of excitement, but striking a balance without becoming too frustrating is the key, I guess. The things I do for you, Leary. feels like a reset. The game has reset after the switch over to Jessica. I mean, it's very similar to Jack's initial stages. It's more like a slow burn. Uh, but Jack's last few sequences were fast paced, always keeping you on the edge, especially with the sense that someone was trying to get us. Yeah, it almost feels like a reset. But it's likely things will pick up again in the later chapters for Jessica. Come on! Just work! Let's remove the lockdown and find him. Oh boy, if only it was that simple, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, it almost feels like something is about to give. I've not seen White for some time, so I can almost sense it is somewhere around. Okay, let's be more alert, more prepared, ensure our reflex are fully working and loaded in. <laughs> You know, my only complaint about this game is the desire for more gameplay mechanics. You know, puzzles, gunplay, combat, anything beyond the quick action secrets that feel somehow decorative in nature. You know, the story progresses in a specific direction regardless of how you perform in these quick action sequences. There is no way this can help me remove the lockdown. At least I don't think so. I'll call that plan B. What the hell is that? In any case. Ah. Okay, that interactive item felt pointless. I don't know why that was there. Oh boy. You know, consider this sequence for example. If there had been certain urgency attached to it, or if there were a limited number of tries, the experience would be far more nerve-wracking and challenging. However, with no sense of urgency and unlimited tries, it's like a leisurely stroll in the park. Not a care in the world, just relax, casually breathing through it all. <laughs> so much easier. I'm looking for... So, Officer Tyler's here again, insisting to come in. 
for a guy who lectures me nonstop about safety regulations, you'd think he'd understand why he's not allowed back here. So there are some emails also we can read. This is from Asim to Nick. It's about uh, some issue with his multi-tool. Okay, and apparently he's gonna get a replacement for it for short term. Right, another email here talking about some special requests from the Better Tomorrow project. Now what the hell is that? Ah, we are going to start facilitating delivery of unique materials which we will have to store in the drill bay hangar. I'll pop down in about an hour so we can talk about it. What is all this about now? Unique materials? Compound 26? New equipment? Oh boy, what the heck is going on here? What the hell is T-13? I mean, is it some sort of an equipment to aid the dig site? And why, why it is not allowed access? Yeah, something is brewing under the surface. Dirt, compound 26. And why this push for extra hours on the surface? It almost smells like corporate greed, sacrificing human well-being in the name of progress, masking it as a scientific discovery for a better tomorrow. Oh boy, my conspiracy radar is buzzing like crazy. can almost sense the writers trying so hard to prove that before yeah, things went to hell, logs. this yeah, place was a, Check out. You know, buzzing base with great interpersonal communications and friends and community built out here. Yeah. I wonder what went wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to explore all of these areas and trying to find something which is not, you know, clearly visible, you know, something hidden and yeah, nothing useful so far. Okay, another interesting thing to note about is the power issue this site has been facing. And Nick is at the center of it because he's been asking time and again for more iFi support on these trips which he's making at the tech side. And he's definitely under pressure and he doesn't want other people looking at his team. Okay, very interesting. 
All right, the second one is from Dr. Taylor, and he clearly wants access to greenhouse site. He really wants to study compound 26, doesn't he? Because he definitely thinks it's a serious health hazard. And another email about chest difficulty levels. I mean, it, it feels so out of place, this conversation. I wonder if there's some meaning behind it. Today, our power system continued to fail. The array becomes more damaged with each cycle. I get that people are frustrated, but there is only so much I can do. I have been studying. <laughs> Hopefully it helps at next week's get together. If not here, then where? How do I reset the system? Uh-oh, wait a second, wait a second. Is that Dr. Wyatt? And who the hell is he carrying? Oh boy, this doesn't bode well for him. I'm so confused about him. You know, at times I feel he's onto something. He's seeing something others don't want to see about Compound Ray6. And then in the next moment, it's like he's seeing ghosts where none exist. <laughs> I'm so unclear about his motives. I keep changing my theory about him, don't I? Well, as and when we get more information, these theories will keep on changing. Maybe even multiplying, who knows? <laughs> What the hell is Focus happening to her? Is she having a panic attack? It's so out of the blue, isn't it? Wait a second, could it be something to do with compound 26? I mean, she hasn't come in contact with it. Yeah, all speculations right now. Wait, wait, wait a second. Jack did come in contact, but he didn't show any of these symptoms. Yeah, boy, these speculations are growing. <laughs> Perhaps we may get more answers next time. Until then, this is Fragger B signing out.